Tonight, Super Nan. Joe meets the Webb family. Hi, Miss May Cafe. With three energized kids. Yeah! Hey, do not go. This family is running on empty. Jump up. Don't throw it. While Dad's job takes him on the road. See you later, Carter. Mom becomes a single parent in desperate need of Joe's help. You did not listen and you've been sent to the naughty chair. But when Dad returns, things come to a screeching halt. Give Seven o'clock on weekends is absolutely not going to happen. Half of work with me here. Come on. I don't have a commitment to the technique. So what's your decision? I'm going downstairs. Three small kids. <laughs> Joseph, who is six. Paige, who is five, who has Down syndrome. And Madison, who is two and a half. <laughs> we had children one after the other, and it just seems like our life has just gone haywire. <laughs> uh, we have it. Thank you. <laughs> Joseph, stop again. Break your arm. I am a management consultant, and my job involves traveling 50 weeks out of the year, leaving on Sunday mostly, and returning on Friday. Kathy is also a professional, has a full time job. I've been gone the entire week. I feel as if I'm a single mom. Hi, Daddy. Where's Daddy? And I feel like I'm at just at my wit's end right now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, can you hold on one for a second? Oh, this woman is worn out. Hello. Paige is a special needs child. Hello. Yes, I'm almost done. Developmentally, she's right now three years old, so she demands definitely a lot of my time. Hey, that is not nice. <laughs> Madison, she's very demanding. She's at times very clingy. What? Uh-oh. We've got a little one attached. Joseph, sit in your feet and eat. Joseph, who is our six-year-old, he is very independent. And uh, he sometimes feels as if he's being left out because I spend a lot of time with Paige and Madison. When I'm here with the children alone during the week, I mainly struggle with getting them in bed at a decent hour. No, no more reading. Hmm. Don't get out anymore, do you understand? A lot of times when I call, we can't even finish a conversation because the inmates are running the asylum, it seems like. Hey, 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 calm down. please come to this house. I desperately need your help. This family could sure do with my help. I'm on my way. Doing? Come in, Joe. Joe came into the house. She looked like a super nanny. You know, she had her hair pulled back in a bun. She looked very prim and proper. Hi, please meet Kathy. Yes, I'm Joe. Well. How are you? Yes, great. Thank you. Good. When I first met Joe, I could tell right from the beginning that she was a no nonsense type of person and that she was going to whip us into shape. This is Paige. Hi, Paige. Pleased to meet you. And that's Madison. She's got other things on her mind. Come on. Hi, Joseph. Gonna shake Joe's hand. Pleased to meet you. Good. So, all here together, which is absolutely wonderful. What I would love you guys to do is just to carry on as normal. I'm going to be a fly on the wall and just watch you as a family, OK? OK. As soon as I walked into the door, met the family, Arthur was like, bye. I have to catch the landfill before it closes at 12. Right, OK, OK. All right, then. All right, thanks. So, bye, Danny. See you later. Bye now. And there we were, me, mum and the kids. What happens for you at this time of the day? Um, normally I'm doing what I'm doing now, cleaning up the kitchen or yeah. dressing the kids or doing something like that. Oh, I'll let you carry on then with those dishes. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Madison! He's got that ring on stuck to his hands. It's not going in the way. Just follow me. Turn the vision on in here. Turn the vision on in here. Close this room. Television, television. What's really going on in this household? Where's the fun? The kids are bored. I thought there was going to be activities going on and the house was going to be full of energy with the kids running around, screaming. But it wasn't. It was really quiet. I mean, nobody's going anywhere. It's like lock up. I think mum's at a loose end of what to do with the kids. So, Joseph, when you're not on the computer and when you're not playing video games, what does Joseph do? What do you do? Do you like a Trying to talk to Joseph. It's rather difficult because he's just like, uh. I'll let you carry on then. Yeah. I'll see you later.
later. Bye. Hold on one second for me, okay? Ma'am, I'm gonna you to get down, okay? No. Well, I'm done. You can no. play. No. I'm not done yet. No. Maddie, don't watch, don't watch television, okay? No. If you want to watch television, they're bored of watching television. They probably watch it every day. Um, Maria, can you hold on one second, okay? Come on, out. So, Kathy, what's it like on the weekends? Is Dad normally in and out, or is he around? Or... So he's probably asleep or watching television or something. We spoke about it with him. I work, I'm stressed, so it's as if he has downtime and I don't. So, of course, I get resentful about that. You don't think things are going to change? We've talked about it, but nothing's going to go about No. So, Kathy, do you have much time to spend with Paige? And she has down syndrome the condition does that allow you much time during your day to spend with her no on a regular basis i don't have a lot of time playing work some of the other things i would like to spend more time with her as far as uh, being more self-sufficient or teaching her life skills right exactly verbally she does have problems trying to communicate what happened Paige? <laughs> joseph did you hit her her pronunciation is not very clear at all she gets very frustrated because she is trying so hard to engage now i noticed this as being a very big problem in the household because her brother Joseph does misunderstand this and they end up fighting and arguing a lot. He becomes very mean and, and very aggressive where he ends up hurting her. Go, go in your room. Come on, Paige. Let's come in here. Mm. We're going to send a search warrant out for you. What? A search warrant? Yeah, we will. Whatever it is that I have to get done on the weekend to keep the household running and keep our lifestyle going, that's what I do. You're at work from Monday to Friday. Sunday. From Sunday. Night. Must miss the family, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Miss them a lot. Yeah. I hadn't seen much of Arthur since he'd got home, so I checked in with Kathy as she was bathing the kids. Where's Dad, Mum? He's asleep. Yeah. And power hour nap turned into a two hour power nap. Possibly three, probably four. <laughs> we may not see him again tonight. I found out that Arthur was having a power nap that was only meant to be an hour long. But two hours later, Kathy's still doing all the work and he's still in bed. Coming up on Supernet, the kids keep mom up past her bedtime. We can go on until 11 30. I did hear that character. And Joe's got just one question for dad. Also, where are you? When Supernanny returns.